ಪ್ರೇಮಾಣಿ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮಾಣಿ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮಾಣಿ ಅಮೃತವಾಣಿ the grace and blessings of the lord be always upon you dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ today the 15th of november the one message that good god is giving us is to be prepared be ready be ready be prepared for what for heaven be prepared for his coming be prepared to be with him be prepared to experience him be prepared to be in his presence am i prepared those astronauts who go to space before they can go to the space they are put into simulators of machines basically use machines in which a space like atmosphere the zero gravity is recreated and then they are afloat in the air in that machine they are made habituated to the ambience of space and once the medical test comes out and it is proven that this person is eligible to enter the space then that person is sent into the space am i eligible for heaven what is the test that i am passing to get into heaven what is the simulator in which i am experiencing heaven what is the way in which i am preparing myself for heaven for the presence of the lord without any preparation without any effort i want myself to be in heaven eternal rest be granted unto him o lord and may the perpetual light shine upon him i should be worthy of that light live a life so that's what the lord wants dear brothers and sisters whoever tries to spare his life will lose it and whoever forfeits his life will find it what am i trying to find eternal life and now i'm trying to reach the eternal life through formal like prayer habitual actions habitual worship worship the lord in spirit and truth with passion the light gives you, the fire gives you both light and heat the light is not glowing off our faces and we are not we are looking cold people and then what we try to say that we are in the presence of god where is the light where is the heat you are the light of the world and light is not supposed to be kept under the bushel basket the light is supposed to be kept on the mountain top so that it will give light to the whole town where am i what am i doing dear brothers and sisters in christ today the lord god asks us this basic question what am i doing with the life that is given to me women and men of faith where are you women and men of faith what are you trying to do with your life we are not supposed to spare our life for our own purposes in the sense give more time to ourselves to our plans to our thinking and the lord takes a back seat our lord warns against being so busy with daily life that we neglect what ultimately matters we are largely taken up with eating and drinking writing and reading buying and selling planting and building keeping in touch with social society that these are the stuff of life but the stuff behind this is not to be neglected they are so important that we may give them our total attention the stuff that is behind or beyond this the spiritual life if i do not eat for a day i'll be weak for two weeka could be for 15 20 days dead if my spirit 
does not get spiritual food for a day, for two, for months together no confession, no communion, no church, such people even if they come for mass they will stand, stoic, hard because their spirits have lost touch with the Lord, become hard hearted. It is time to wake them up. Their eyes are closed, their ears are dumb, ears are deaf and they are dumb to the presence of God. So, dear bro brothers and sisters, let us make this little prayer. Eternal Father God, help me Lord to prepare myself prepare myself to reach you, prepare myself to be with you, prepare myself to be in your presence. Lord, let me not be lost in the things of the world, but prepare myself diligently to be with you always. Make this prayer through Jesus Christ, O Lord.